Hello and welcome back to part 6 of our Kingdoms and Castles, a blind playthrough of the quest for Cumbernauld. Today we have a dragon who is going to bear down on us and hopefully do absolutely nothing to us. Um, because last episode we installed these amazing archer towers which I don't have much confidence I'm going to do much against the dragon. But we shall wait and see. Thank you very much for, for tuning in guys. Uh, if you haven't already... I'm just going to ask, um, hit the subscribe button, um, maybe leave a link, uh, a like, sorry, and a comment, um, yeah, and we'll just get straight into it. Um, today's plan is to get some, uh, yeah, get some um, some defences built, really, um, and continue to expand Cumbernauld. I've realised, only now in episode 6, this hasn't been built. Um, we've not built a path to connect the castle, so let's get on to that. Um for troops, we're going to need a Chamber of War. Um, so we'll put the Chamber of War um, just here, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and we also need... Let's get a Great Hall. I haven't got a clue what the Great Hall does, but let's get one anyway. Um, let's pop that here. Apparently it allows giant feet... Oh. Oh. Did that, did, that just, did that just get bigger? Or did I imagine that? It definitely... That's fucking bird. Look at this fucking bird just sitting here not knowing what the hell he's doing. Um, yeah, I've, I've been off for a couple of days. I've, I've not really played much of the game. Um, so it might be a bit slow to get back to it. But um, hopefully we can continue to expand Cumbernauld. Um, so health. Health is going down. But... It's also going up. Well, happiness is going down, but it's also going up. So we need to think about increasing people's happiness. Um, let's get some more manors um, built. Um, we did say we were going to turn this area into a residential area. It is coming along a lot better now. Um, let's just to get kind of things going again and people a little bit happier. Um, that's fine. So we've got an extra 14 people living in Cumbernauld. Let's think about getting a hospital. Um, where to put the hospital now? Um, probably on this barren land here. Um, yeah, let's pop it. Let's pop it here. Um, that seems like a good place to build it. Um, let's have a wee look. It is snowing, so the dragon will come in the spring. Um, in anticipation of the dragon coming, we should probably get some more um, wells, just in case anything gets kind of put in fire. So let's do this quickly. We've got a well there, um, but let's just get some better water coverage just to be safe. Um, Cause this area here just kind of isn't covered. So we want to kind of have all the walls covered um, down here. So this is all barren land here. So we probably could build some more stuff here. Um, we do need troops as well to take care of the danger doggos that are down here next to the Oh, there be the dragon. Uh, where is he? So he's coming from this side where we have no walls. Fantastic. Um, uh, why, 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 did, why did we do this? Um, is our war room built? Yeah. Oh no, still building, still building. So we're probably going to get done it, absolutely done in by the dragon here. But hopefully um, it won't be kind of too much of a devastating attack. Um, what's the range on these archer towers? Not very much. Uh, hopefully he kind of flies into the middle here. Um, he's just chilling out. He's chilling out for now. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna burn down our posh houses. He's gonna burn down the posh houses. Re Let's don't do that. Come on, dragon. Be a bro. Be a bro. Um, well, there's nothing we can really do with the dragon just now um, because we don't have any troops. So we're just gonna have to kind of take the hit here um, and hope that yeah, people are kind of getting on it. Or fire at least our fire stations that we've got. Um, oh yeah, shit, we're hitting the dragon, we're hitting the dragon. Yeah, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Oh, we need a lot more archers to take down that dragon. That is not gonna do well. Um, while the dragon's wreaking havoc on Cumbernauld, let's very quickly get some more housing because housing is probably gonna take a real big hit here. Um, or we should maybe think about getting some more farms. Let's get some farms on the go first of all. Um, so that we can continue to have See, we want to kind of build our farms here. Let's get some, let's get an abundance of farms here. Um, 
too far away from our road, so we need to get a road. Let's pop a road in, okay, so we've got that there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I was trying to hold that sneeze in for ages. Um, let's get kind of the road here. Let's get some more farms, just because obviously with the population going, we don't want to be losing out. Um, let's do that there. Let's also get... Um, See, let's get a larger granary. Um, and I could probably put that here on this road. Um, and let's get a road connecting this up. Let's get a road going here, and then we'll bring it here, and then we'll connect that road across here. Uh, one peasant's been killed. Hopefully that was fucking, that was Brian. Hopefully we've, we now no longer have to worry about Brian. Um, setting fire to Cumbernauld. Um, Vikings are attacking in seven years, so we should hopefully be alright with the with the Vikings coming in. Um, here, what is this? Um, not fully staffed. Chamber of War, should you plan all resources and things including balasses and archers? So we should now hopefully have oh, we have ballista towers. Oh, and a barracks. Um, or do you want the archer skill? I feel like the easiest one to do just now would be the barracks. Wow, this is quite a large building. Um, can I can I put that here? I need somewhere to put this. Um, it's going to look. Yeah, I'll put it there, and then that way it connects up to the road here. Let's get a path built very quickly, just along here. Um, so that'll give us our barracks, our war room, um, and hopefully should give us enough kind of movement and stuff like that, just so we can get some, some troops on the go. Uh, we'll get the farms going here. Um, I realise that road doesn't connect at all. Um, let's also get, so we've got the granary getting built there. Let's get a t another town square. Let's just pop this here, um, purely just because it means we can move stuff. Um, once we start building some houses, which we'll do just now. Oh, another merchant's arrived. Um, let's zone off an area for residential just here. Um, let's make this actually quite a large residential zone. Let's do the old city skylines. What will a manor house be? So let's do a manor house there. We don't have enough uh, wood for another manor house. Um, so at the moment, this is literally just going to be yeah, I'll make this kind of like the ideal kind of like farm area um, down here by the coast. We'll need to watch, obviously, um, anything that we get in like a wall um, put along here, um, just in case kind of more Vikings come. Um, hopefully they don't. What does the merchant have for me? Um, nothing at the moment. I, I don't really want to be selling anything because I feel like I'm going to need everything quite soon. Um, we should probably try thinking about getting another um, kind of like... Let's get another forester because I feel like we're... If there's one resource that we're really lacking on at the moment, it's definitely, um, definitely wood. So, where can we put the forester? That'll give us better coverage. That's going to overlap. Um, I mean, that's probably going to give us the best coverage there, isn't it? Is it? I could try to put it in there. Um, yeah, let's get, let's start clearing up um, this area here. Um, and what this should let us do is then kind of pop it bang in the middle of the wood and get the maximum amount of coverage possible. Um, let's see, happiness. Still trending down, so we need to kind of increase people's happiness. Um, which I want to have kind of have like full happiness because I quite like kind of having like that kind of like everyone quite relaxed and stuff like that. Um, we'll pop like a, a little garden path here. Um, in fact, that, no, we don't want that there actually, get rid of that. If anything, what we want to do is make the garden paths link between the houses, um, kind of here. Let's do two there, and then let's get another, another manor house and let's pop that there. Um, and that should then give us enough population. Let's get some, let's get another road down here. And then what that should let us do, what's that? One, two, three squares. So it'll be one, two, three squares here. 
for another two manor houses that we can then put in, which again we don't have enough wood so we're going to have to just wait um, for that to come online. In terms of jobs, let's have a quick look. Let's check our jobs, make sure everyone's kind of, yeah, so we do need quite a bit more in terms of the population, um, for the, especially for the kind of military training, especially if kind of we've got these Vikings coming in five years, because we really, really want to start kind of fighting back against these Vikings and showing them that Cumbernauld isn't going to be an easy target for them. Um, we've not got enough gold, we need to be taxing people a bit more. Um, happiness is slowly increasing, so let's pop that tax rate up to 15%. Um, and let's see kind of how people react to it. Hopefully not kind of too bad. It's trending towards 69, nice. Um, which is fine, that'll be fine. 69 help, kind of happiness is good. We can lower it once we've got a bit more money just to get kind of essential services running. Um, Cumbernauld is looking fantastic. We just, I mean, I, I don't know. There's probably people that are watching this game, kind of watching this, that have been playing this game for a while and are thinking, God, this guy's doing this all wrong. I'm really happy with how kind of everything's turning out. Um, Money is a bit of an issue, but I really just enjoy the fact that we've got these little kind of industrial areas getting built. You know, the residential is going to start coming along a lot better. Um, we can get that forester now. Um, not put that too far away from our road. Let's get a road in here then. Let's literally just get a nice little road right in here. And that should let us put this forester just here. Perfect. And that should give us some extra... Um, kind of areas. Uh, let's pop a little, let's pop a stockpile just at the corner here. Because um, obviously, if we've got the farms here, we can make this another kind of farm and slash industrial area, and this can all kind of be residential down here. That's will be like kind of like prime real estate where everyone's going to have that kind of like ocean side view. Um, it's doing twenty five gold, so that might be why. Um, let's see, and charcoal. So that yields a higher tax revenue, but the question is, is taxes? Do we want to be taxing everyone kind of as much? Oh, there's another fucking Brian. Brian, let's get a will here quickly. Fucking Brian's. So Brian's obviously not dead, unfortunately, in the dragon attack. Brian's still very much alive. Um, and we only know that because everything's still catching on fire. And if we know anything, it's that Brian is the one that's responsible for these fires. Um, let's not be losing all of our things, please. Oh, yes. It's now a bustling city. Fucking get in, boys and girls, get in. I'm happy with that. That's a, that's a good little start, actually. Come right all coming around a bustling town. Um, a bustling city, even. Oh, we're a city now. It's, it's definitely these archers, definitely. Um, let me see. Let's go to the military side, because we should now... How do I recruit troops? Uh, no staff to train new soldiers. Um, I want... Oh. Oh wow, 17 some different we need 17 people to train some, some trippy boys. Um, hands of party cost, uh, to start up all military forces and flight double damage. Oh, for four times the upkeep cost, let's not do that quite just, quite just yet. Um, we kind of want to be kind of waiting for these Vikings to come because we're going to show them who's boss. We're going to absolutely tank them when they arrive and they're going to just gonna fucking do them in. Be like, right, fucking fight me. Come and come and all see what's up, see what's good. Um, let's get one manor house here. Um, we have to wait, we need a little bit more gold, so we can wait for that gold to come online while we have a quick look and kind of plan our next areas. This whole area here is gonna have to be uh, residential. We could probably put like a little bit of farming right there, but mostly residential here. Um, we really need to kind of go after these danger doggos because they're just, they're just not going to be our friends. Oh, no. Yeah. Case in point, um, Vitus Varnus has died. Um, savaged to death by the danger doggos. Uh, we lost a farm here. Um, let's rebuild that for three wood. Um, let's get that going. Um, we have a, we've got, got the hospital, we've got plenty of clinics, we've got the fire stations. Um, so, so far, so far things in Cumbrough are going alright. Um, we've got, you know, we've still got the fishing on the go. Um, how are we looking for fish? We're not really storing any fish. The blacksmith's doing all right. You can't, why can't you produce armaments? Oh, we want to start, sorry, we want to start producing armaments. Make sure this one, this uh, blacksmith over here is doing the same, but yeah, it's, that's fine. Um, that's fine, I'll just kind of hide that that's happened. That's fine. 
happiness 68%. Um, peasants are in the, the health of pe everyone's gone alright. We're still kind of slow on the, the fish and pork, but I think that'll just come kind of over time as soon as we kind of start to expand out. Obviously, with the city growing, kind of food demands are a lot higher as well. Um, in fact, just there, yeah, 60%. So people are people are very slowly but surely um, starting to kind of appreciate everything that we're doing for them in Cumbernauld. Um, we'll get another manor house. Um, let's just put that there. Um, and what we can do as well is just to make sure everyone's got enough um, kind of like heating in their homes and whatnot. Um, we can get another charcoal burner and we'll put that just here next to the quarry. Um, and that way this is a nice little resi a kind of industrial area across from the farms um, and just next to the uh, kind of nicer residential area that we're going to have here. Um, let's see if we're getting some orchards um, because fruit is very important. It's good for kind of happiness um, and they don't actually cost that much to be honest. Um, mm, so it must be fair. Tyler, that's a bit annoying. Let's do that. Let's get some more, let's just get some more basic farms and what we can just kind of dot them around here. The plague doctors are out, someone's not feeling too great. That's not good, that's not good at all. We don't want this, we want everyone to be happy and healthy in Cumbernauld. Um, and if people are sick and not well, that's not good. Um, we'll get some basic cobbles here because there's probably nothing that I can think about building. Anything we can kind of build in the middle here? Um, let's, you know let's put in another tavern just to increase people's happiness um, and so people don't have to walk all the way around to get to the tavern from the residential area we will create a small path just cut through the middle there and that way people don't either have to walk all the way up and round or they don't have to walk all the way down and round to get to the tavern I know there's a tavern there but this one can kind of serve this residential area that we have here She'll look kind of nice, fantastic. Um, we should probably turn up just for the pure aesthetic reason. Let's get another farm and let's just put it here. Um, oh no, let's not demolish anything. Um, what are people's happiness here? There's no one living here yet. Everyone's relatively happy here. They've got water, they've got enough food in the pantry. Um, there's not enough meat or pork, um, which we could probably do with the increase in, especially because the nearest kind of pork um, is over here. Um, no food for the pigs. Why is there no food for the pigs? What do the pigs need? And it's not fully staffed. So again, we're back with kind of the issue we had at the very start of the, the when we started that we don't have enough people in Cumbernauld. Um, probably the easiest way to do that. Uh, let's hold. Oh, we need 50 gold. We don't have 50 gold, so we need that money. So we need more money. Um, let's have a quick look and see what the witches say. Um, oh. Does that, does, does this mean that we get 220 gold? Oh no, we have to pay 220 gold. Why do people not have any food? We have plenty, plenty of food here. Um, farm orchard, which is food. It's because we're not getting pigs or fish anymore. That is a bit annoying. And again, that's all because we don't have the workers. So what we'll do is let's hold a... Let's go to the main town square, because this is the main town square here. Um, let's hold a festival um, to attract some new peasants into Cumberland. Um And hopefully that will work. Just an absolute treat. Um, if we can get... We actually probably might be able to do two festivals if we can get the money for it. Um, it should increase everybody's happiness as well, which is fantastic. Only 15 people have arrived in Cumbernauld. Come on, we've got to pump those numbers up. We need 346 people to fill all the jobs in Cumbernauld. Um, but the town has gone along quite well. I'm really, really happy with how the town's kind of turning out. Um, this whole area up here is going to be kind of the next area that I think once we've kind of sorted out this main bit here, um, we can start moving into... Um, probably going to need to deforest a lot of this. Um, which is going to be a little bit annoying, a bit time consuming, but um, we have got a kind of very heavily wooded map, so we need to make sure that we're focusing on that um, coming into it. Let's have a quick look. 
farmlands actually not too bad here. No, it's not, it's not the happiness map, so it's just showing me how far the happiness will spread. So, yes, 60 people enjoyed it so much. Yes. Yes, we've got 60 people in Cumbernauld. The happiness went right the way up. It's now tanking back down. Um, but that does mean that Cumbernauld is now fully populated. In terms of jobs, how does that do? Every job is filled up now, which is exactly what we needed uh, to make sure that Apart from the builders, which obviously we're not building anything at the moment. Do we have anyone that's idle? Anyone just lying around, just skulking? No, nope, no one. Um, let's get in preparation for... We need 34 gold, so... Has no weapons, too far away. So we need weapons. Hmm, interesting, interesting. What we should do then, I think, I could be wrong here, but what we should do is probably get another blacksmith and pop the blacksmith here and then that way there's enough weapons um, being made. Are you guys making weapons? Armaments, what have we got in terms of armament? We've got nine. And what do we need for this? Seventeen. Ah. That'll be why. So we need more armament. Um, that's probably my fault for not covering that. We've got iron getting built. Do we have any more iron? What's that there? That is a source of iron. But it is frightfully close to some danger boys. Um, in fact, there are danger boys right there. Which we don't want. So we're going we're gonna to need troops. Oh, someone's died of old age. Sorry, Atalo. Um, I hope you enjoyed your long life in Cumbernauld. You died at the uh, bustling age of, let's just imagine you got here when you were 18. 6 to 8. You were an old man by medieval times. An old, old man. Um, but what we'll do, um, because we've got the Viking attack in two years, the dragon's going to come in nine years. Um, we are slowly but steadily... Oh. What is this? What is this? Tools. Hold on a minute. We're producing armaments. Why don't... Why don't we... We apparently don't have the supplies. We have no too far away from them. Okay, 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 okay. What will do? If I put a blacksmith here... I wonder... I wonder... If I put a blacksmith here... And then they start producing... What's this here? What stone is this? It's just normal stone. Normal stone. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. That should, that should be absolutely fine. Right, what we'll do, very quickly, before we end the episode, let's get a quarry here. Oh, we got a road, don't we? Damn it. Very quickly, let's put, let's put the road here. Got that as at least. Just come on, save some money. Let's put that there. Put this here. And what that should hopefully do is then allow us to get more stone to give to these guys over here to make trips here. And then we can fight off the uh, the Vikings that arrive in a year. That seems like a good plan to me. Right, okay, perfect, fantastic, I think. Hopefully. Um, I hope, speaking of hopefully, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. Um, stay tuned for part seven, um, where we're going to hopefully fight off our first Viking raid fucking get them done in ladies and gentlemen we'll absolutely do them in we'll tank them we'll kill them we'll show them who's boss um and the town of Cumbernauld will live to fight another day um thank you very much for watching everybody i will see you in the next episode bye bye for now